going live and we're live hey everybody out there in agile scrum world and whatever world mentos soda coke uh, rocket launching world out there hope you're doing well good morning this is the 5 a.m master scrum show and i am greg master scrum master and agile coach it's about 7 50 a.m and this is our 425th episode i did not do an episode yesterday so if you're looking for it i was i apologize Lots of things, like I said, if I don't do this thing at 5 a.m. in the morning, rarely get it done. Today, I'm just going to squeeze it in. I had to go run around because my son forgot his water bottle on the soccer field. So, of course, I had to go look for the soccer field this morning to go get it. That's why I'm a little bit later than normal. And it's trash day. Anyway, hope you're doing well. It's a big Friday out there. Some people on the other side of the world are already will be soon. I guess they're finishing up their Fridays, right? Or coming into a Saturday weekend. So weekend's coming. So what are we going to talk about today? Um, oh, forgot to do the intro. Well, we talk about Scrum and Agile in a practical and tactical way. So you can have fun with your family and friends on the weekends. <laughs> and give value to the customer and not waste time and money. And we're going to talk about a little bit about wasting time and money. And then have some fun along the way. So we are doing Fortune Cookie Friday. Yes, yeah, so we have to do it on a Friday. So we have to do Fortune Cookie. And I just want to talk about I, So this week has been a PI planning week for my organization, supporting a bunch of different groups that are doing their, their planning. I don't know how many teams I got. I got, and last week was some, and this week's some more. And um, I lost count of how many teams there are. Me, it's just acting as an enterprise coach at this point. I'm trying to coach my team a little bit, help them out with their dependencies and how they identify stuff and what's missing and some risks they may see as they go. Been really concentrating on dependencies. It's amazing how people don't write down their dependencies. And as, as an old project manager from back when, the one thing I liked having is when we do the PI planning or release planning, we do features, epics. And in there, we, we, we link to that if someone one team needs work from another team, there's a link at the Epic feature level. And I think I talked about it before. I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about it today. But I also like to have a story, even if it's a placeholder story, that is in a sprint during this quarter that where they're going to do work so that they can link up to that, that item in the quarter. Let's get some notifications on the you know, computer so that we know exactly when they're going to get done their work because it's a whole quarter and it's really important that you know when i mean they may promise going to do work but what happens if it's the last sprint in the quarter you can't get your work done right so you kind of got to know when the work that you need is going to get done so that you can link the items in your system whatever the system is and so many people don't do that they don't they don't have that and for me Every time I have a dependency on another team and I don't know when they're going to do it, to me, that's a risk, right? So that's a very key risk about having to understand. And uh, I had been doing this for a long time. I'm really good with data tables and I can find stuff. And it was funny. People will put risk in. They're not a lot of risk. So I just wrote a little query that said, scan all the issues in the system for this quarter and if anywhere you see the word dependency written in a story whether it be in notes text comments wherever flag it so i had it written and it flagged it, it was flag all this stuff. So, oh my god there's a lot of stuff but then i would put a little caveat okay they flagged all these things that had the word dependency also if they already really um, created a link that would be, you know, a required or successor type link, a predecessor or successor type link, then don't worry about it. And I found about like 100, <laughs> 500, 100 issues that really didn't have that linkage to another story. So I let them know. Um, but there's ways to do that. Maybe I'll show that one day. One day. I don't know if I need to do a JIRA class or, or – um, in a short class on how to connect all that. Maybe I'll do some lecture series on how to do all that as a separate thing than the 5 a.m. Master Scrum, a little 15-minute thing we do. But maybe I'll do that. I'll set up a whole series of stuff on how to do that. I have lots of things I could do. Just haven't done, just haven't had time. Um, if that's something you would like, please let me know. I know there was a question about they would like more PI stuff. 
I'm going to write stuff up this weekend because I'm not traveling, not going camping, not doing any of that this weekend. So I will write up like how I would bring it up next week and we'll bring up a whole series of stuff on PI planning. Okay. And with that, just talking about ways to work. We do a couple surveys. We created a way and, you know, you do the fist to five, right? And my place I'm currently where just don't have the capability, but they have a survey capability. So I'm like, okay, well, so why don't we use a survey capability? Um, we'll put the five answers, one through five, for the confidence vote and how we're doing. We'll have everybody vote. We'll pull the survey results, and we'll see how we're doing. We get comments, and we can talk about the comments related to if they voted ones and two. Uh, four and fives are really good. Threes in the middle, ones and twos. We need to have a conversation see what's still missing in our planning. So it's very simple, but it's amazing how long people want to debate what the questions are. I'm like, it's just the confidence vote. It's just like we've always been doing in person. Now we're doing remote where it's just please give your comments on what you think the plan is, if there's any risk, and what's a one and a two. It's like a lot of risk. I'm not really unsure. And five, but we're good to go. So we did that. But then we also did another little survey. And it was just to see like midterm, like the draft. There's a draft phase in PI planning. So we did a little survey. How do you feel? Anything you're missing so far? Any concerns that you have? And we I, we developed that for the RTs. We spent way too much time crafting the survey. What should the words? What should the, what should the email look like? Blah, blah, blah. Personally, I don't care. I'm just like, it's a survey. It's a quick one. Don't put a lot of words. I don't want to overthink it. And just give us some feedback. And we got a whole 15. Within the first hour, we got like 15 people reply. And I'm like, this is out of hundreds of people, right? And I'm like, you know, spent all this time, you guys, everybody wanted to spend. So here's my kicker. Spending time on something that's not necessarily going to give you a lot of value, don't spend a lot of time on it. What I found, and I'm going to talk about the confidence vote a little bit more too, because there was one thing that happened the other day. It was really good. And I probably should talk. I mean, like, no, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that PI confidence. I'm going to write that down. So tomorrow I will talk about something that we've, I, I observed PI confidence. Vote. So I'll, I'll add that tomorrow, Saturday. Confidence vote. And I'll put that in there. So I'll talk about that tomorrow. Cause it was really good actually was a good reason why you do the confidence. Zone. So anyway, all you really want to do is say how we're doing. It's real simple. Keep it simple and get some value. So you don't spend a lot of time in it because you know you're not going to get a lot of responses. But the responses you do get are important because someone actually felt like the need to express a concern. You do want to collect them and you want to make sure that you have them checked out because if they actually took the time to comment, means it's important. Just remember that. But it doesn't mean you have to spend a lot of time. So the question was, are you okay so far with the draft plan? Yes or no? No? Please comment why you're not okay with the draft plan so far and how's it going. If yes, you're good, right? It's as simple as that. And and everybody wanted to make it more complicated than that. And we had all these meetings on it, like, I don't know. It's just a survey. It's just a lousy survey to get some feedback in and keep it simple, right? It's no big deal. I'm not going to measure them. The Agile accountants out there, which we'll talk about with the fortune cookie, come out of the woodwork. Well, we need to know it exactly. We got to have a good me measurement and we got to really measure this. I'm like, we're not going to get a lot of responses and I don't want to measure this stuff. I just want some feedback to have a discussion. That's the whole point, is what we'll talk about tomorrow. And with that, I guess I'll leave that with you today. Just keep those surveys simple discussion. So you just want to collect information to have a little discussion, make sure everybody's good if there's actually voice out. But you want to give them, even if you get five responses, you give them the opportunity to voice out their concerns. It's all you want, right? It's not about, we didn't get enough responses. No, the ones you did get, you got. People were concerned. They're active. They're really concerned. And, and that's all you really need. Don't worry about whether or not you got everybody on the planet to answer these surveys during the PA planning. And ain't worth it. And a lot of wasted energy, to be frankly honest. All right. With that, we're going to do Fortune Cookie Friday. Yay! And on Fortune Cookie Friday, 
these as your accountants, I talked to you like the, on the survey and want to count stuff and know that I had full participation by my entire team on these surveys. It's like, who gives a but you know, you, you don't get a value. Oh, you just changed it fully participate in the survey, and, and that's bad. Okay. The ones who did participate are the ones who are really interested in making the organization better. I don't think necessarily forcing people to participate in a survey makes the organization any better. There, I said it. <laughs> and the question is, why don't they have time to participate in the survey? That's another question. That's why we do the show. Okay, Fortune Cookie Friday. The Agile Accountants have sealed a message in this bag, right? And inside, double sealed bag, in here, the fortune cookie. They have sealed the message inside a cookie. So no one knows what the message and how it relates to Agile. And that was given us by those Agile accountants. So we're going to open the mysterious cookie. I guess this goes with the whole awards, movie awards thing. It's like, didn't, uh, what's his name and what's her name burn an envelope because of COVID? I, should, I didn't do the COVID thing. I should imitate it. We yeah, will next time. All right. So what does it say? Soon you will find a competent assistant. <laughs> I love it. Soon you will find a competent assistant. Oh, God. What's my assistant? What would that be? The cat? Um, soon you will find a competent assistant. Well, you know, in Scrum and Agile, we work in teams. So they're not necessarily an assistant. They're sort of a partner to work with you. Um, to assist you along your way. Maybe this is what you need as a coach. You know, maybe I, I need to, oh, I should make sure what my, what my next coaching session is. It reminds me. <laughs> maybe this is a good reminder because I, as a coach, have a coach, right? So I get a couple of coaches out of my um, expert uh, cohort. So I have a coach that helps coach me. So that's awesome. So maybe your assistant, and we just got uh, four. I think I have one more spot for the coaching. So if you needed an assistant, like you need a coach to assist you, I think I have one more spot left in the free coaching sessions out of the five that I advertised. I don't, I don't think I saw an email. So, okay, there's one more spot left. So if you need an assistant, soon you will find a competent assistant and you want some free coaching for six months uh, for about a half hour a week or so, depending on what your cap what your time limits are. And, uh, Try to get a regular cadence and about six months worth. I think it's like 20, was it 20 sessions, 21 sessions? I don't know. Anyway, have an awesome Friday. Enjoy and uh, enjoy the weekend. Get the stuff done. Go home, you know, put a, put a, put a fork in it and say it's done. And anybody that tells you want to do something weekend, no, it's done. I'm done. I'm going home. I can have some fun. All right. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your weekend and see you one day. I'll figure the end button. <laughs>